All right, guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to be talking about Martin Dubamende. You may have seen reports over the last 24 hours, and especially today, because there's quite a few flying around from the aggregators, you know, the, the LFC content creators and that, um, claiming that uh, Dubamende regrets not moving to Liverpool because of Real Sociedad's uh, sluggish start uh, to the season. Um, these are all originating from a Spanish outlet called Estadio Deportivo. Uh, and it's interesting, it's interesting because at the very same time, uh, on the Cop Talk members website, if I can, oh, I don't know my own password. Who am I? Uh, dunk. There we go. Um, password Liverpool. It's not really. Uh, right, let's have a look. Executive Lounge, Scouting Department, Zubamende. Um, page 60, I think, on my screen. <coughs> uh, I posted on there previously. I've heard that his agent is, stroke was, in Liverpool this week, meeting with Hughes. Um, and I believe that. I believe that his agent uh, has met with or is meeting with Richard Hughes this week uh, in Liverpool. And it's interesting that the timing of these articles are also coming out at the same time. So it makes you wonder if Estadio Deportivo or others in Spain are aware of, um, of these talks. It, there is nothing whatsoever to suggest that his agent being on Merseyside or whatever, speaking to Liverpool, Richard Hughes, uh, in particular, it's important we say Richard Hughes. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's in relation to Dubamendi, but I think most people would think it was because they are friends. Um, the, the agent and, and Hughes are friends. Um, but you would have to, you know what I mean? We can't verify what they're discussing but you would have to imagine that that is the case. Maybe Liverpool are still willing to, to consider this player because you can't just say that, you know, he put all that work into it and then go, we're no longer interested then. Some fans that are very proud and like principled will say, yeah, we should have a fucking, you know, and all that. And, you know, Gravenberg has done, uh, Gravenberg has done absolutely brilliant. I mean, absolutely brilliant, but if he gets injured, you know what I mean? But I would be, I don't know, I don't like the idea of us bringing someone else and saying, right, you have to step aside now, you know. So, but anyway, let's just see. So just to, just to clarify, the reason for the video is to tell you that there are these reports that the player reg apparently regrets it and wants to um, to move uh, onto Liverpool in January, if that's possible. Uh, and also, it coincides with claims. I don't think they're claims, I think it's factual, but I can't state that. Uh, that the player's agent is meeting with Hughes or has met with Hughes this week. Now, one thing that has been the centre of the focus regarding Dubamendi since our interest, and the one thing that I've said to you in every video since that deal didn't happen, was to keep an eye on any potential contract developments surrounding that player, uh, because as yet there haven't been any, right? So, you know, a lot of people thought that he would be rewarded with a new deal, um, for rejecting Liverpool, right? We were told this, a new deal's been offered to try and keep him uh, at Real Sociedad. Uh, but then we were told, if you remember, that you know maybe a week after the deal had felt fallen through with Liverpool, when it became obvious he wasn't coming, uh, we were told that there was a bit of animosity between the player and the club and everything was unkidori. So just to keep an eye on it, see what happens, see if he's given a new contract. Anyway, the, um, the president... Uh, of the uh, of Real Sociedad, uh, Aperibé, 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 Aper let's just say the president of Real Sociedad um, said, has basically rubbish claims uh, that the club had offered him a significant new deal to reject Liverpool. Um, and I said at the time, this isn't about money. You know, the money's this this player is not gonna reject Liverpool because he's offered money. He was offered, I think, triple the salary uh, to move to Liverpool. It's not about money for him. It was about his allegiance and loyalty to that club. And if you're from that region and just the way it all works out there, if you don't understand, I'm not going to go over it all again. But, you know, it, this was about, um, this was a big decision for him to potentially leave. 
uh, and he and he only and he said that he would only leave if he had the blessing of Real Sociedad, and he wasn't given that. He got nasty, as you know. Anyway, the president over there has said about this contract that we've all heard about. There has been no conversation with Duba Mendy to renew the contract. There hasn't been one now, and there hasn't been one before. He didn't put any conditions on us. In other words, he didn't say, I'm going to stay, but only if you give me a new contract. He understood the moment and knew that it was a market in which some players were already going to leave, and he understood that it was time to stay at Real Sociedad. He has not made it a condition for us to renew, nor have we talked about it. The conversation with Martin was short and quick. Uh, and early this month, you know, the player obviously commented that uh, you know, he was extremely loyal to Real Sociedad. It was his life. He didn't know anything since a young lad and all that. Uh, and again, if you're born in that region, it's a privilege, uh, you know, to, to play for uh, the club. So, uh, you know, loyalty, which we don't see in football today. If this was Trent Alexander-Arnold, which is going to be my next video, um, then, uh, you know, and, and Real Madrid was sniffing, we would want him to display loyalty and say, no, this is my club, I'm staying with my club. So we can't now criticize his player you know oh, he's not you know he's not ambitious and no he's just fucking loyal you know so give him that um i don't know you know we've discussed this a few times i'm not really sure i want to ask you uh whether you would um return with this player you know the interest in this player would you support the signing of him because we've kind of done it to death you know i'm not really sure i need to to obtain feedback from you but you're more than welcome to leave it i just don't want to feel like we're asking the same questions over and over so the reason for the video was two things. One, to tell you about this claim coming from Spain that Duba Mendy uh, apparently regrets that he didn't take the move to Liverpool. I, I, I struggle with the reporting a little bit about that. Uh, I've heard that uh, mentioned before. Um, I, I'm not sure. Well, I'm not sure that he regrets not moving to Liverpool because of the form of Real Sociedad. I just can't help but think that maybe if he does regret the situation, that it's more to do with the fact that he really wanted to move to Liverpool, but felt he needed to display loyalty to his club. And maybe he's not feeling that he's getting the acknowledgement from the club. I don't know. And I don't just mean in terms of contract and financial remuneration, because I don't think he's that bothered about that. So let me try and explain that one again. Duba Mendy might regret not joining Liverpool and hopes Liverpool going in for him again, but I don't believe that's anything to do with Real Sociedad's form. I think it's just him going, I've missed my chance there to go and play for a group. Do you know what I mean? I've missed my chance. That's what I think it is, because I've heard it before earlier in the season. So, But I think the media are trying to like spin it up as to, oh, because they're not doing very well, he wants out. And then Liverpool fans, the, the really like loyalist ones, you know, they're going to be like, well, it's just because they're playing shit. You want to come to us now? I don't think it's that, guys. I think he genuinely uh, regrets he didn't get his move. So that was one reason, was to mention what's being claimed in Spain. And the second reason was to tell you um, that it does coincide with claims or information that, you know, that suggests that his agent is or was meeting with Richard Hughes this week uh, in the North West. Um, I'll just leave that at that. All right, so I'll leave it with you. This is more of a for your information video, you know, just for you to take on board. You form your own opinions, obviously. All right, guys, I'll leave it with you. I'll keep an eye on it. When I go back to Spain, I'll keep an eye on this one a little bit closer. I'm not quite so sure that this is dead, to be honest with you, the Duba Mendy stuff. Um, but I know that, you know, we're already very impressed with Ravenberg, you know what I mean? Like playing in that number six position. He's doing outstanding. Um, one injury, though. Do you know what I mean? So, it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. It really is. So, if I, if you are going to, if I am going to ask one question, it would be the following. Hypothetically, if you had both of those players in the squad, as Rafa Benitez would call it, <laughs> for sure, the squad. If you had Duba Mendy and Gravenberg in, in the squad, right, who's starting? How would you use them? What would you do? Would you then say, well, you know, we can use Ravenberg in another way now? I would feel pretty shit, but I think he's been fucking outstanding. Like, honestly, look, one of the greatest number sixes I've seen play there for ages. It's incredible what he's doing. Uh, so I'm not really sure how I feel about it because Dubamendi is an immense player, guys. He's fucking awesome. You know, a few months ago, weeks ago, whatever, we'd have all been saying, yeah, 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 we need one. But look what we've got. That has worked out, you know, so... 
that's the tricky bit for me. I don't have a problem with assigning the kid. I don't have any animosity towards the kid. I, I respect his loyalty. Uh, but if something was to come of it, it's like, well, how do we get, how do we utilize them both? Do you understand what I mean? Let me know what you think on that one. Uh, if you appreciate this video, please thumbs up the video. Please drop me a comment. And if you want to buy me a beer on Saturday or a coffee on Sunday, if you're a Muslim, uh, there's a love out under my video. You can hit that uh, and you can support me that way. But there are other ways in the video description you can support me too. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you real soon. All right.